welcome to India Energy World. I am Sudhir and we are at the India Energy Week talking to none other than Ms. Vardhika Shukla. She is the CMD of uh, Engineers India Limited. A very warm welcome to you on our platform, ma'am. Ma'am, let me begin this conversation by trying to understand from you, you know, what's your understanding of and the impression of the event this year as compared to last year, you know, in terms of the, the kind of topics that we have, the speakers that we have and the, especially the discussions in which you have participated so far. What's your understanding? Where is it going? I um, I think the speed and scale at which uh, IEW 2.0 has evolved is phenomenal. Uh, the uh, I think the very fact that they, we have had some strategic collaborations with uh, my other sister companies and the kind of uh, collaboration we are expecting as EIL with a lot of foreign parties for a lot of foreign clients is one of a kind. And it is given that uh, the tag, you know, growth, collaboration, transition, that is what uh, it has uh, very ably built upon. So we have a lot of uh, uh, partners who have come in from all over the globe. And uh, the, it's, it's more of a follow-up of what happened in India Energy Week 1 in Bangalore. And that actually gives uh, the, uh, you know, kind of uh, a continuity and any business that you do, whether it is a business of investment, whether it is a new project, new partnership, it all needs time and space to work upon it. So India Energy Week is one such platform where uh, there is huge potential and it is already happening. Okay, okay. Ma'am, from EIL point of view, uh, there is serious business discussion also happening on the sidelines of this event. You're saying, what has materialized? Can you brief us on that? So we have come a long way from last year. Uh, we met a lot of potential stakeholders uh, for uh, offering our services last year. We followed up with certain other conferences all through the year in international arena and we are back here in India Energy Week to uh, make sure that some of them convert to tangible projects for EIN. And uh, very soon I hope that we would break through in one of them. You know business takes time and especially international business needs a lot more dialogue discussions, uh, trust, collaboration as we say, and they are in the making. Uh, in between, uh, we did a collaboration in uh, sol space of solar with Solar CSP. That was also a result of one of the discussions we had in India Energy Week earlier. Uh, we are also working in uh, getting AI excellence in our project management, uh, which is also you know, a point of discussion even now. So there are positive, um, very positive outcomes. Ma'am, as CMD EIL, what are the top two or three, you know, things on your mind, on your agenda, things that are taking your time at the moment? And how do you see them progressing over the next, let's say, in the current year? So uh, I think the first and foremost important thing as Chairman EIL is to get business, more business, and much more business. <laughs> that is the only thing that, and for that, uh, we have to work very closely with our trusted stakeholders, our clients who have uh, given us the, uh, uh, you know, their projects, place them in our hand to execute them. We have to work very closely with them, continue to collaborate, continue to solve issues, uh, particularly in this, in the execution part of it, which you heard yesterday also in in uh, one of the uh, you know in the opening sessions, the execution part is equally important in all sectors, whether it is the conventional oil and gas or the space of energy or the green or whatever. So that's something which is the second pr priority, very important, is execution uh, projects wherein we are building up new capabilities, our procurement strategies we are improving. We're also in, in, in involving AI in a lot of work processes to get excellence into our operation. In fact, this whole campus of uh, IPSEM Goa was built by us as EPC contractors to ONGC. And we worked very closely with our sister concern, ONGC. And uh, we've been very proud to be associated not only with them, but with the whole facility we built up uh, in, in a record time of less than six months. So this showcases the, uh, the change in the way we work, uh, which, are, which is more agile, which is more uh, responsive, 
which is more hands-on in terms of decision making, particularly in project implementation. So one, business. Second is uh, execution of projects in a timely manner. And the third, most focused area is uh, 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 in two parts. One is growing international business and growing the renewable business. Okay. Ma'am, are we on track to meet the kind of CAPEX target that we had for the current financial year? It's about to end, right? So, whatever the budget outlay was there for EIL, are we broadly on track in terms of meeting that? For EIL, we, we are, uh, since we are a consultancy, our budget outlet is quite low. Yeah, and we are, we are okay on that. Uh, we'll be doing well in the size we have. But we have a greater role to play in the CAPEX targets of our sister concerns, whose projects we execute. And they're mostly on track in terms of the projections, in terms of the commitments. So I'm very hopeful those will be met. Um, one final question for me, you know, a very common, commonly asked question, you know, where do oil and gas majors see themselves, you know, um, uh, you know, how do they see their role changing in this entire energy transition that is happening? How do you see their role evolving or changing? And in terms of EIL specifically, what kind of impact do you see that happening, you know, that creating on your own, you know, business prospects? And how do you want to, how do you see that entire change happening? Yeah, so a change is this this time, the transition is a change for everyone, all across the globe. Every company, whether it's an asset-owned company like our, my sister companies in India or asset-owned companies internationally, everybody is looking at decarbonization as a roadmap. So technologies which are uh, working in the blue hydrogen space or the green hydrogen space uh, or uh, overall perspective of carbon utilization, conversion, sequestration, these are all topics which or the sustainable fuel like bio-ATF or 2G ethanol projects. These are all conversations which are essential in the transition. We are there in all spaces, whether we are there with technology like the bio-ATF, which the Honorable Prime Minister saw yesterday in our pavilion, which is made by the CSIR IIP, whether in the space of implementing 2G ethanol in Numaligar, where we have a tie-up with Kempolis, or we are in the space of green hydrogen, we are implementing projects, or solar CSP, which will be the project of the future. So we are there in all spaces. With respect to the competencies of technical and engineering, we are already 100% Atmanirbhar. We don't go out anywhere for that. And uh, we have an Abel uh, system of building the vendor base for supply chain management for implementation. So every element, in the making that you need for such a project is already there. We are very hopeful of uh, expanding and uh, getting a force multiplier on our business. Okay. On that hopeful and optimistic note, please allow me to draw this conversation to an end. Thank you for your time.